welcome back. <coughs> Good morning. It's Sunday. My morning video is, is ready. It's 9.30. Let's read some more. Let's read some more. But we have to close uh, the door. Makes a lot of noise. It's a very hot, was a very hot night, and it will be a very hot day again. But we have uh, two, three hours. It's already 26. It was 33 yesterday. But we have uh, three hours to like 11 a.m. <coughs> then the sun will start shining into my living room. So we have two, three hours. So let's uh, read. But I use my uh, my pocket cam. I will save for my Japan. <coughs> my small pocket cam uh, can turn left and right. I need a minute. <coughs> I need a minute to do myself ready. Write uh, this aircraft name down. Meet you. Meet you, Beachy. Meet you, Beachy. I need to write it down that's a <coughs> fighter jet from the Japanese fi fiber fighter jets no not a fighter Japanese fighter aircraft from the second world war from the Japan uh, Empire the Empire of Japan not the modern the Empire of Japan So let's read about it. Mitsubishi A6 M0. A6 M0, A6 M3 model 22N712Z, operated by the commemorative Air Force. So, Cal. Wing, Note 1. Roller carrier based fighter aircraft national origin Japan manufacturer Mitsubishi Heavy Industries first flight 1 April 1939 introduction 1 July 1940 retired 1945 Japan primary user Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service produced 1939-1945 number build 10,939 developed from Mitsubishi A5 variant Snake Hajima A6M2N developed into Mitsubishi A7M. The Mitsubishi A6M0 is a long-range carrier-based fighter aircraft formerly manufactured by Mitsubishi Aircraft Company, a part of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and weigh-separated by the Imperial Japanese Navy, IJN, from 1940 to 1945. The A6M was designated as the Mitsubishi Navy Type 0 carrier fighter, Rii Shikikanj Sentki, or the Mitsubishi A6M Rii Sen. The A6M was usually referred to by its pilots as the Ryzen, Zero Fighter, Zero being the last digit of the Imperial Year 2600, 1940, when it entered service with the Imperial Navy. The official Allied reporting name was Zek. Although the name Zero Way is used colloquially as well. The Zero is considered to have been the most capable carrier based fighter in the world when it was introduced early in World War II, combining excellent maneuverability and very long range. One, 
The Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service also frequently used it as a land-based fighter dot in early combat operations. The Zero gained a reputation as a dogfighter, too, achieving an outstanding kill ratio of 12 to 1, 3. But by mid-1942 a combination of new tactics and the introduction of better equipment enabled Allied pilots to package the Zero on generally equal terms. Dot. 4. By 1943, the Zero was less effective against newer Allied fighters. The Zero lacked hydraulic boosting for its ailerons and rudder rendering it difficult to maneuver at high speeds. By 1944 with Allied fighters approaching the A6M levels of maneuverability and consistently exceeding its firepower armor and speed, the A6M had largely become outdated as a fighter aircraft. However, as design delays and production difficulties hampered the introduction of newer Japanese sea aircraft models, the Zero continued to serve in a frontline role until the end of the war in the Pacific. During the final phases, it was also adapted for use in kamikaze operations. Dot 5. Japan produced more Zeros than any other model of combat aircraft during the war. Dot 6. Design and Development The Mitsubishi A5M fighter was just entering service in early 1937, when the Imperial Japanese Navy started looking for its eventual replacement. On the 5th of October, 1937, it issued planning requirements for the prototype 12 she carrier based fighter, <coughs> sending them to Nakajima and Mitsubishi. Both firms started preliminary design work while awaiting more definitive requirements a few months later. Dot 7. Based on the experiences of the A5M in China, the IJN sent out updated requirements in October calling for a speed of 270 km, 310 miles per hour, 500 km per hour, at 4000 m, 13,000 feet, and a climb to 3000 m, 9,800 feet, in 9.5 minutes dot with drop tanks. The IJN wanted an endurance of 2 hours at normal power, or 6 to 8 hours at economical cruising speed. Armament was to consist of two 20mm cannons, two 7.7mm, dot .303 in, machine guns and two. Sixty kilograms, one hundred and thirty pound, bombs. A complete radio set was to be mounted in all aircraft along with a radio direction finder for long-range navigation. Dot 8. The maneuverability was to be at least equal to that of the A5M, while the wingspan had to be less than 12M, 39 feet, to allow for use on aircraft carriers. Dot Nakajima's team considered the new requirements unachievable and pulled out of the competition in January. Dot Mitsubishi's chief designer, Jairo Horikoshi, thought that the requirements could be met but only if the aircraft were made as light as possible. Every possible weight-saving measure was incorporated into the design. Most of the aircraft was built of a new top-secret aluminium alloy developed by Sumitomo Metal Industries in 1936. Called Extra Super Duralumin it was lighter, stronger and more ductile than other alloys used at the time but was prone to corrosive attack which made it brittle. Dot 9. This detrimental effect was countered with a zinc chromate anti-corrosion coating applied after fabrication. No armor protection was provided for the pilot, engine or other critical points of the aircraft, and self-sealing fuel tanks, which were becoming common among other combatants were not used. This made the Zero lighter, more maneuverable, and one of the longest-ranged single-engine fighters of World War II, which made it capable of searching out an enemy hundreds of kilometers away, bring injured to battle, then returning to its base or aircraft carrier. However, the trade off in weight and construction also made it prone to catching fire and exploding when struck by enemy fire. 10. 
with its low wing cantilever monoplane layout, retractable wide set conventional landing gear, and enclosed cockpit. The Zero was one of the most modern carrier-based aircraft in the world at the time of its introduction. It had a fairly high lift, low speed wing with very low wing loading. Combined with its light weight, this resulted in a very low stalling speed of well below 60 kn, 110 km per hour, 69 miles per hour. This was the main reason for its phenomenal maneuverability, allowing it to outturn any Allied fighter of the time. Early models were fitted with servo tabs on thalerons after pilots complained that control forces became too heavy at speeds above 300 km per hour, 190 miles per hour. They were discontinued on later models after it was found that the light and control forces were causing pilots to overstress the wings during vigorous maneuvers. 11. Name The A6M is usually known as the Zero from its Japanese Navy type designation, Type Zero Carrier Fighter, Rishiki Shiki Kanj Sentki, taken from the last digit of the Imperial Year 2600, 1940 when it entered service. In Japan, it was unofficially referred to as both 3-sen and 0-sen. Japanese pilots most commonly called it 0-sen, where sen is the first syllable of Sentki, Japanese for fighter plane dot, node 2, 12, in the official designation as 6M. The a signified a carrier-based fighter, 6 meant that it was the 6th such model built 4th Imperial Navy, and M indicated Mitsubishi as the manufacturer. The official Allied code name was Zek, in keeping with the practice of giving male names to Japanese fighters, female names to bombers, bird names to gliders, and tree names to trainers. Zek was part of the first batch of hillbilly code names assigned by Captain Frank T. McCoy of Nashville. Tennessee, assigned to the Allied Technical Air Intelligence Unit at Eagle Farm Airport in Australia, who wanted quick, distinctive, easy to remember names. The Allied code for Japanese aircraft was introduced in 1942, and McCoy chose Zek for the Zero. Later, two variants of the fighter received their own code names. The Nakajima A6M2N float plane version of the Zero was called Roof, and the A6M3-32 variant was initially called Hap. General Hap Arnold, commander of the United States Army Air Forces, objected to that name, however, so it was changed to Hamp. Operational history. The first Zeros, pre-series of 15 A6M2 went into operation with the 12th Threngok Dei in July 1940.13, on 13 September 1940, the Zeros scored their first air-to-air -air victories when 13 a 6 m 2 s led by Lieutenant Saburo Shindo escorting 27 G3M Nel medium heavy bombers on a raid of Chongqing, attacked 34 Soviet-built Polikarpo 515S and I-16S of the Chinese Nationalist Air Force claimed all 27 of the Chinese fighters shot down without loss to themselves. However Major Louis Yunkun had in fact nursed his I-15 riddled with 48 bullet holes back to Mitsubishi A6 M20 Model 21 takes off from the aircraft carrier Akijai to attack Pearl Harbor. The cockpit Starboard console, Ofana 6M2 which crashed into Building 52 at Fort Kame Hamehar during the attack on Pearl Harbor, killing the pilot. Mitsubishi A6 M30 wreck abandoned at Munda Airfield, Central Solomons, 1943 A6M20 photo C2004 base, and Lieutenant Gao Yuxin claimed to have shot down 1-0 but at most 4 zeros sustained some damage in the a half hour long dogfight over Chongqing. 14. By the time they were redeployed a year later, the zeros had shot down 99 Chinese aircraft, 15, up to 266 according to other sources. 13. At the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor, 
521 zeros were active in the Pacific. 328 in first line units. 16. The carrier born model 21 was the type encountered by the Americans. Its tremendous range of over 2,600 kilometers, 1,600 mi, allowed it to range farther from its carrier than expected, appearing over distant battlefronts and giving Allied commanders the impression that there were several times as many zeros as actually existed. 17. The zero quickly gained a fearsome reputation. 2. Thanks to a combination of unsurpassed maneuverability compared to contemporary Axis fighters and excellent firepower, it easily disposed of Allied aircraft sent against it in the Pacific in 1941.18.19, it proved a difficult opponent even for the Supermarine Spitfire. The RAF pilots were trained in methods that were excellent against German and Italian equipment but suicide against the acrobatic Japs, as Lieutenant General Claire Lichino noted. 20. Although not as fast as the British fighter, the Zero culled out turned the Spitfire with ease, sustain a climb at a very steep angle and stay in the air for three times as long. 21. Allied pilots soon developed tactics to cope with the Zero. Because of its extreme agility, engaging a zero in a traditional turning dogfight was likely to be fatal. 22. It was better to swoop down from above in a high speed pass, fire a quick burst, then climb quickly back up to altitude. A short burst of fire from heavy machine guns or cannon was often enough to bring down the fragile zero. These tactics were regularly employed by Grumman F-4F Wildcat fighters during Guadalcano defense through high-altitude ambush, which was possible with an early warning system consisting of coast watchers and radar. 23. Such boom and zoom tactics were also successfully used in the China-Burma-India theater by the Flying Tigers of the American Volunteer Group. Average against similarly maneuverable Japanese army aircraft such as the Nakajimaki 27 Nate and Nakajimaki 43 Oscar. Average pilots were trained by their commander Claire Chino to exploit the advantages of their P-40 Warhawks, which were very sturdy, heavily armed, generally faster in adive, and level flight at low altitude, with a good rate of roll dot. 24. Another important maneuver was Lieutenant Commander John S. Jimmy Thick as Thick Weave, in which two fighters would fly about 60 m, 200 feet, apart. If a zero latched onto the tail of one of the fighters, the two aircraft would turn toward each other. If the zero followed his original target through the turn, he would come into a position to be fired on by their target swingman. This tactic was first used to good effect during the Battle of Midway and later over the Solomon Islands. Many highly experienced Japanese aviators were lost in combat, resulting in a progressive decline in pilot quality, which became a significant factor in Allied successes. Unexpected heavy losses of pilots at the battles of the Coral Sea and Midway dealt the Japanese carrier air force a blow from which it never fully recovered. 25, 26. Carrier A6M2 and A6M3 zeros from aircraft carrier Zukaku preparing for a mission at Rayball A6M3 model 22, flown by Japanese C's Hiroyoshi Nishizawa over the Solomon Islands. 1943 Rector 6M0 in PLLU Jungle Short Film Recognition of the Japanese Zero Fighter, 1943, intended to help U.S. Airmen quickly distinguish the Zero from friendly aircraft, with Ronald Reagan as pilot Saunders. Throughout the Battle of Midway, Allied pilots expressed a high level of dissatisfaction with the F4F Wildcat. Captain Elliot Buckmaster, commanding officer of USS Yorktown, notes the fighter pilots are very disappointed with the performance and length of sustained firepower of the F-4F-4 airplanes. 
the Zero fighters could easily outmaneuver and outclimb the F-4, F-3, and the consensus of fighter pilot opinion is that the F-4, F-4 is even more sluggish and slow than the F-4, F-3. Itisasu felt that it was a mistake to put six.